بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم okay so now we have seen the the stb process so let's try to differentiate between the root port and the designated port slightly so basically as i said both the ports will be the roles will be forwarding they both will forward but there are a few slight differences you need to understand so both will do the same thing a little bit like if i if you remember the root port let's say this is my root bridge the root port is present on every non root bridge so it's a port on uh, it's a single port on a switch other than root bridge so which means this is my root and these are non root bridges non root so every non root bridge will have one root port so every non root bridge will have one root port like if you take it this example this is my root bridge and remaining all are non root bridges so every non root bridge will have one port which is the shortest part to the root bridge so we will have only one root port not more than that but typically when we say designated port designated port is present on every switch which means you have a designated port which will be forwarding and it will be present on the root bridge as well so you have designated ports on the root bridge but if you compare the root port so the root port is present on every switch other than root bridge so on the root bridge you will not have root port right root port is the shortest part of the root bridge but whereas designated port is also shortest path or the forwarding path generally but on every switch it will be present so even the root port will have all the ports will be by default designated so how we calculate the root port it is the least path cost to the from non root bridge to root bridge like every non root bridge looks the best way to go to root bridge based on the conditions and similar way here also every switch now here it's not like every switch it's like in the lan if you have three paths and it is going to see how many paths you have to reach the root bridge and based on that it is going to decide one port in the in the forwarding and the remaining will be in the blocking so typically here also it will calculate the cost the least cost in, but in the lan in the lan to reach the root bridge how many paths you have but whereas in the root port every non root bridge is looks the best way to go to the root bridge nothing but it will be calculated from every non root bridge to root bridge but whereas here it will be calculated in the lan the complete lan from every switch to reach the root bridge so basically how many paths you have okay so it's going to consider how many paths but whereas here it's going to see uh, what is the best route so we'll have only one root port so every non root bridge you will have only one root port you cannot have more than one but whereas in designated ports you can have multiple designated ports you can have them on the root as well as on the non root so you can have two two or three root port designated ports also on one single switch and of course uh, all the ports of the root bridge will be designated so if i select this as a root bridge then all the ports will be in the designated ports but whereas if the if this switch is a root bridge then you will not have root ports remember this no root ports on the root bridge only designated ports will be present on the on the root bridge so if if this side is a no root port and the opposite side will be normally designated port because typically root port is the shortest part of the root bridge so basically this will be forwarding role so the opposite side will never be blocking so if one side is designated port sorry one side if it is a root port other side will be always designated port whereas here if one side is a designated port other side can be designated port or it can be blocking port it depends depends upon the stp calculations but if it, if one side is a root port opposite side will never be blocking so that's a slight difference these two ports but basically the first step once the root bridge is selected it will decide the root ports and then it will decide the designated ports so designated ports nothing but how many forwarding paths you can have of course only one from every switch to reach the root bridge and the remaining will be in the blocking state